kæmpe stor hånd til aftenens vært, Jakob Tornhøj. Maybe you, you become a comedian because you see life in, in, in a, a slightly outside the, the normal. I mean, I, I, already, I already lived like a comedian before I became a comedian, so I, I don't think I changed that much. Making people laugh, that's what he does as a stand-up comedian. Jacob Tarnoy started five years ago after failing at four different kinds of career tracks. He now hosts and performs at a comedy bar in Aarhus. The, the comedy is, is an open mic, so you... You shouldn't give away your your best jokes. If it's possible, you should try out new jokes, so that's why it's free. Alberts, the city's oldest pub, offers free shows in both Danish and English. Along with performing separate bookings all over the country, Jacob hosts stand up there twice a week. He developed his own view on how to entertain his audience. Things that are present are often funny. Things that are rehearsed are, uh, can be... Um, Predictable. People may still be laughing because the, the joke has some fun, fun to it, but um, but it will never be as good uh, as if you're as if, as if when they know that you're here with them right now. This year, Jacob is competing in TV2's Zulu Comedy Gala as a finalist of their Talent Award. The broadcasted show will put him up against four other Danish comedians in the nation's capital. In stand-up and comedy, in general, you laugh at the loser. Uh, uh, you, you laugh at that you can see the loser in yourself and, and such, and, and then you have a competition where, you, where you're going to be the winner, or you're, co you're competing to be the winner. So, so in that way, it's, it's weird. And if the joke is short, it's not clean. It's not clean, yeah. It's shock for me. If the joke is really strange, and you think, what are those words? They're coming up with the comment. They're smiling. I still want to do it. I'm still want to do it. The host. He is uh, pretty good and yeah, fun, fun jokes. I would definitely come back, yeah. He earns what he calls an artist salary, living in a dorm with eight others. But it's a lifestyle he enjoys. I don't uh, like watching television at night and I don't like uh, having a girlfriend and a family and the <laughs> children. I like uh, adventure and, <laughs> and, and the more than I like um, that I like uh, comfortable stuff. Okay, and I tried a lot of stuff and, and I haven't, uh, it, yeah, I just, I just know that this is, this is the right place. So, so, uh, so I, uh, yeah, I don't doubt that.